Hi, my name is Ian Nelson and I'm on FR Conventions. Very much so, yeah. Uh, I auditioned for the show, for, I forget what year it was. Um, I was, I think, 17 when I auditioned for the show. I was visiting LA, I had an audition with the casting director, Wendy O'Brien. Went back home to North Carolina, where I'm from, and I binge watched the show. And I knew that I was going back to LA and I was gonna have a screen test. So I got a call back and I was gonna go do the screen test in the spring. But between then and the screen test, I just watched the show on MTV. I just like binge watched it. I was homeschooled, so I was supposed to be doing my school. And I would just watch Team Wolf all day because I really loved the show sincerely. Um, I had a screen test. I, my mom took me to LA for the meeting. I remember I wanted to get a, a brand new jacket. I wanted to look cool like Tyler Hecklin. And um, so I got this beautiful jacket that I still have in my closet back in LA. And uh, I wore it to the screen test. And uh, we got a call on the drive home that day. And I got it. I wanted to look cool like Tyler Hecklin. He's a, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I was sincere. I mean, I mean that sincerely. He was, a, he was very cool on the show. He always had cool clothes. And I wanted to, you know, I was auditioning for the younger version of him, so I thought, well, I want to look cool. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Let me think. Do I remember the first day on set? Yes, I do remember the first day on set. We shot a scene uh, in class. I was in a classroom. And um, I forget what entirely was happening, but I remember being on set, shooting that first scene, on the soundstage that they shot at in, um, uh, what was the name of the town? I forget. It was off about Boa, that's all I remember. Northridge. We shot the show in Northridge, California. The first day it was on set at the soundstage in a classroom. I don't remember we shot after that. And I think it was also the basketball scene with Paige that day. I was 18 by the time I was actually on the show. Uh, was I nervous? No, I was just very excited about being a part of, you know, I grew up in North Carolina. I wanted to be an actor. Um, and uh, at that point I had done a big project. So I was pretty aware of what it was like to be a part of these uh, projects with big fan communities built into them. Um, and uh, I was just excited about the opportunity to play a big part in a, in a good project. That's what excited me. Um, I, I was excited about getting to work every day. That was always my favorite part about when you get to play a big role in a project, it's not about, it's not about any of the other things like the recognition or if you know, people like it. It's, for me, it was just I got to act every day instead of every other day if I was a smaller part in the show. Or yeah, I mean, he was a different person then, right? So it was like the, the Derek that I played was very different than Tyler's Derek, you know? As often you see that in, um, in people, right? You, you know, characters are no different. You know, you're a child, you're different. A traumatic event happens and change. So, um, I met Tyler after I'd rapped. Uh, we were out in, um, it's called, I think it's called Acton. It's out in the middle of nowhere in California. We were shooting, um, I forget what scenes we were shooting specifically. Um, it was the, I think it was closer to the end of the episode, if I remember correctly. Um, but I, I, my mom and I, we knocked on Tyler's trailer before we drove home. And uh, I remember we, we stood outside the trailer and we talked for, you know, 10 minutes or so and then we left. But that was the first time I met him, it was after I finished. He's very kind. I think with, with acting, it's interesting in the sense that um, I knew where he ended up, obviously, but and I, I don't know how literal my approach was to this, but um, I, I don't even remember, to be honest, entirely. Like, I just remember knowing that he was different. The, the version I was playing was a different version of him. So I was like, well, 
um, I don't have to actually base any aspect because it's like this person's a different person, you know, before the traumatic events that happened to the character. Um, but I knew where he ended up, and so I can understand uh, how painful the experience must have been, which informed my um, performance quite a bit. Dill's an incredibly talented actor. Um, he's also one of the funnier people I've ever worked with. Um, I think Dylan's great. I, I've had you know some nice interactions with him over the years, and um, you know he's always been very very kind and he's a very charming person. So no, I'm not shocked at all. I remember when they announced me playing the young version of of uh, Tyler in the show. I think they released it in some different online publications. And the reception was really good. People were very excited. So very quickly, you know, people weren't like, oh, you know, screw this kid, like, ugh. You know, people were very nice. Uh, I found that, you know what's interesting is I find that fans have, uh, I've never really, I've always had good experiences with fans. I, I don't get a lot of hate online. But I think that's also um, part of my doing in the sense of what I choose to put online. Special. It's weird. I, I've been thinking about this a little bit yesterday, where I was like, I, I never really thought much about any level of recognition when I started acting. Um, the the only thing that interested me was being a part of projects that uh, helped me get other projects, so I could continue acting. Like that's always the thing that was interested in me was was to act. So, but being at this convention, I'm like, wow, people really love this show. And so if you can be a part of something that helps your career and also brings people joy, that's very rare in acting. Um, a lot of projects you do don't ever get seen. And a lot of projects you know you do get seen and then they have a bad rap. Um, and so to be a part of something like this is, it's not something I take for granted. I mean, being a part of a TV show that allows me to travel to Paris and have the beautiful experience going to a new city and meet all these wonderful people who are so passionate about something that's, um, it's very, uh, I don't know, I think the younger version of me would just be like, wow, it's cool. I don't, you know, it's very cool. Yeah, so I was, it was the summer after my freshman year of high school. Um, the Hunger Games was interesting. I had, there's a crazy story. I was sitting in ninth grade English class, and this kid was was reading a book before class started. I said, "What is that?" He said, "It's called The Hunger Games." And I said, "Oh, what's it about?" And he said, "It's about a bunch of kids who kill each other. They're turning it into a movie." And I literally thought, "I'm not kidding." He literally thought in my head, "I should be in that. I could be in that." And it turned out there was a casting director who was having a workshop. North Carolina at the time, where I lived, uh, where I'm from, and where I was raised, is a was a huge film community. Um, when I started acting, they had great film incentives, and so everything was shooting there. So Hungry Games was shooting there, and um, the casting director, the local casting director, was giving a workshop a few weeks after I learned what the book was, and I was like, well, okay, I found out she was casting the movie, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the workshop. I'm going to impress her, and I'll get an audition for the film. And uh, that's exactly what happened. And it was just, it was kind of like, it, it, it was just, it was a magical process. Um, I went to audition for her and I found out months later that I got a role in the film. And I got to spend my summer on set with Jennifer Lawrence and Wes Bentley and Woody Harrelson, and Elizabeth Banks and Lenny Kravitz and Donald Sutherland and Stanley Tucci, who else is in that freaking film? Everybody's in that movie. Like huge stars today, right? Amanda Stenberg was in the film. Um, you know, Alexander Ludwig was in the film. I'm forgetting people too. Uh, I'm sure. Um, but Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth. I mean, it was a it was a crazy cast. So, get, so to be so young and to have just started an acting career a few years prior to be on a set like that was incredibly important. Not because it was like, oh, famous people. It was important because there were great actors, and I got to be. I got to understand what the best was very quickly. And I think that that served me very uh, 
well in my life to understand what a level of quality is. Um, you know, it helps me in, in, you know, in my acting career, my directing, producing, but also in the businesses that I run too. So understanding what acceptable is and where that starts. Um, and so being on set about something like that was just very important quickly. Um, and, uh, you know, it also prepared me for something like Team Wolf, which has a very similar fervent following. Yeah. I mean, all the all the kids, we were all just peers, right? We were all just friends. We would hang out, we'd go to dinner, we'd hang, you know, just, we, it was fun. Just a big, it was like summer camp, honestly. Um, the, Wes Bentley, who played, I think, uh, Seneca Crane in the film, I think is his character's name, or Seneca. Um, Wes was one of my favorite actors at the time because of his performance in American Beauty, um, a, a wonderful film. And um, I just wanted to learn from Wes. So I would talk to Wes all the time about acting. He trained at Juilliard um, for a short, I don't know if he finished there, but he trained there for a little bit of time. And so I remember Wes was really, had trained in this technique by Michael Chekhov. And so uh, an acting technique, and I remember um, hanging out with Wes, like during the shoot, just asking him questions. And, and he gave me all these books to read. And that was just the kind of person that I've always been. I've always been a voracious learner. Um, and uh, I was just ready to soak it all up. So that, like, when I think about who I learned from on that set, it was by far, I mean, Wes was like my, I would consider him like my mentor during that time. Um, it, was, it was very special for, for young, a young actor. To, and uh, when I was younger, I did a lot of, I, I was grateful that I got to work with a few really big actors um, early, early on in my career who uh, mentored me for a short amount of time. Um, and uh, it was very special. I did a movie called The Judge, uh, had an incredible cast. Um, Robert Downey Jr. was in it, uh, Robert Duvall was in it, uh, Jeremy Strong, who has since blown up from Succession, was in it. This is before he blew up. I mean, Jeremy was such a talented actor then. It's like, he was so good. He was so mesmerizing in that role. And, um, but getting to have these incredible mentors at a young age, like, very special. Not just about acting, but teaching how to be a good person, how to be how to be a, a, a man, how to um, treat people respectfully on set, while also doing a really good job with your work.